what's up? We are back again with another mooch. We're out to find some forks today. The whole crew with us, kids are on winter break. <laughs> Show you guys what I what I am carrying today. Hold on. All right, I just cut me I, ooh, a fork. I threw it in my bag already, though, so I'll show you guys later. But uh, we can talk about the first uh, first slingshot today. I'm going to be doing <clears throat> a sort of review, a little bit of a review, on my Evo collection. And I'm going to do this one first because this is one I made, so obviously I'm going to be a little bit biased on it. Um, I got the core from Wayne Martin. He's the guy that owns uh, Caddyshack. He's the designer of the Evo. And then <clears throat> I made felt my carta with red and black felt and I thought it came out so nice looking so I got the the black liner in there and then the red and the black aluminum lanyard hole steel pin in the middle for a little bit of stability I got the uh, slope tips on there this one's a little bit thicker so it holds a little bit different in the hand than the normal Evo, but you still hold it in the same way. Just about there. And I like the bit of thickness to it personally because I have bigger hands, so um, I need a little bit of. I feel like I need a little bit of girth, so to speak. Uh, Maybe not the best choice of words, but yeah, I, I feel like I do want uh, a little bit of a, a heftier, beefier frame, especially around my fingers. It's not so important near the forks, but to grip onto my fingers, I want that thickness, that level of thickness in there to be able to, um, you know, give me some some purchase on there when I'm gripping it. And I feel like it, it gives a better uh, set in the hand that way. I think I found another fork over here. I'll flip you around and show you. And uh, you guys should know I do my absolute best to only cut from dead fall. And that is freaking perfect. Holy cow, that is a perfect frame. And actually, look, I might be able to use this one up here too. But this is obviously just a big fallen, fallen branch doesn't look too rotted either so I'm gonna get those forks right right quick oh my beard is all pushed okay. to one side it's all right well if I wasn't warm already before I'm warm now so anyway yeah Did you guys find anything else cool some moss. It's a huge old thorn. Wow. There's mushrooms right here going under the moss. Wait. Oh, that's cool. There. <laughs> God. Mm -hmm. We saw like a black ladybug with red dots. Hey. Huh. Hey, Dada. Wanna so, go see it? Nah. Hey, Dada. Yeah, it's way back <laughs> there. We're going one, two, show. Uh, this one's Explore the outdoor. Away. Cool. <laughs> Come on, guys. I right, hit a couple of forks anyway. This one, uh, this one is a little bit of special place to me because I used this at the Southeast Slingshot Tournament this year in both the 25 yard shot, so like the distance shot, and I came in third place in that event. I was very impressed with myself. And then I also used it at the Knockdown Tournament at night and I got second place in the knockdown tournament so I was pumped about that too. For some reason when I went through the woods course with my Yeti I did great 
out of the, um, I don't remember how many targets there were, 40 maybe. I only missed one. Um, so you get two shots, and uh, if you hit it on your first shot, you get five points. If you hit it on your second shot, you get three points. And then if you miss your uh, second shot, you get zero points. So I only missed one target twice. I ended up hitting all the rest of the targets, you know, on the first or second shot. So I did really well. And then when I got to the knockdowns, I was terrible. I just shot terrible. I don't know what was going on, but the knockdowns really killed me. And uh, and the knockdown tournament, I switched to the Evo, second place. So I was so pumped about that. Anyway, I'll show you guys the other ones. Um, Ooh, you good? Yeah. Oh man, I hope I caught that on. <laughs> hope I caught that. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm um, your hands if you won't fall. I'm so uh, yeah, um, we'll do a little bit of shooting, and we just got here like 10 minutes ago, and I already got three pretty decent looking forks. So. It's not on the floor. It is. That's wild. Hovering above. And it's all rotting, so all the rot is just falling down. That's a huge tree, too. So anyway, we're gonna um, we're just gonna keep exploring and stuff, and make the most of the day, and find cool stuff. And it's a little bit hard to do a proper hunt with the kids running around and yelling. But if we if we get a shot on something, we'll we'll go after that too. <laughs> it's so big, you can't like miss. <laughs> cool, look at that one. That is very cool. Mom, Sophia, look at that. That's true. Look at that huge one over there. Look at that humongous mushroom. Do you see it? Next up, the original Evo steel, super thin, and insanely pocketable. And this thing is as heavy duty of a slingshot as you are ever going to find. I literally, it's a ra I got the Raven Tuck because I'm not a fan of clips. You'll never break this thing, never. You can fork hit it all day. You can throw it. You can use it as a weapon, you know? You never have to worry about breaking this thing. That was one of the things that drew me to the Evo. It was the first production frame I ever bought. And it's still one that I shoot more or less, more often than any other production frame that I have. <clears throat> Not just because it suits my style of shooting, but, which it does, but also because I never have to worry about breaking it. I can take it anywhere, I can throw it in my bag, I can do whatever. And uh, uh, it's super grippy. Um, that knurling, it's like a barbell. If you've ever done any amount of weightlifting, you'd be familiar with that. But I do have a couple of gripes about it. The first thing, the band attachment um, slide out of there sometimes. So you have to wrap a, like a couple of wraps of the latex before you put the bands on there. So even though that's an easy fix, it's still something. And then the other thing is, I don't like shooting it when it's cold outside. I tried wrapping the handle in paracord and everything, but it just makes it feel weird. Um, and obviously it's steel. <laughs> so when it gets cold outside, this thing gets cold as hell. If you don't constantly have it in your hand, I was carrying it in my, my dump bag and uh, I took it out just now to, to give it a few shots and it was cold, so we're gonna take a few shots. I got a can that I found here, down here, and we're gonna walk down this way. That's my can. <laughs> we're gonna walk down here a little bit of a ways, maybe 15 or 20 shots. 
or 15 or 20 paces, and then we'll uh, we'll take a few shots at it. Going through the trail. <laughs> Going through the trail. Can you uh, can you uh, film me there, Sophia? Film <laughs> your mother and I. Stand, stand back there. Okay. You ready? Mm hmm. You see the cam? Ooh. Step, step to your right a little bit. Yeah, I just. Can you see it? Yeah, it's a little, little white dot on a tree. Ooh, oh, oh. just missed. Okay, we'll get it on this one. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Mama, you're up. Not you, goof, goof. You hit the tree. I do that sometimes. It sucks. Oh, that was just above it. <laughs> Just to the side. You're right on it. You're right on it. Angry. You didn't get any practice shots. Oh, you're just circling it. Yeah. Yeah, and I went on the other side. All right. Last one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Evo, I love the way that this thing is uh, set up. Um, the heft of it makes the recoil basically nil, so you can shoot pretty heavy bands and heavy ball, um, and your the recoil is nothing, really. And then uh, I like the way that it fits in my hand so much that... Uh, yeah, like I said before, when I tried to put, I tried to like wrap a paracord around the handle. I've seen some people do that. Um, I don't like it as much as I like the actual frame in my hand. The the frame and the knurling on the frame make it so grippy, and in my opinion, it makes it much easier to shoot that way. And when you wrap the handle, it just makes it feel all bulky and weird. So I like it as it is. It's only like it's like fifty something degrees today, so it's not that cold, but. When you take it out of your pocket or to take it out of a bag or something if, you, if i guess if you had it in your like pants pocket which it's very thin so it's easy to fit in your pants pocket your body temperature would probably keep it warm enough but if it sits out in the cold for any length of time you're going to pick it up and it's going to be a cold frame so you just have to get it to warm up so a couple little things but whatever i love this frame this is gonna be something that I have with me probably forever um, and actually I had a few ideas of ways that I could maybe maybe um, you know customize it a little bit but I'm not sure that I'm gonna do that so I, I just like it too much as it is and I don't want to I don't want to ruin it but anyway uh, we'll keep walking around I got those three original forks and I guess I maybe haven't really been paying as much attention but um, I gotta find some more forks, so go this way. And this is one of the other reasons we come to the woods because there's got to be forks somewhere in here. Somewhere in here. <laughs> Look at all this deadfall. Oh my god. It's crazy. So I'm gonna get me I'm gonna be picky a little bit and I'm gonna get me three or four more. Oh, uh, maybe more. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to grab some, though. All right. So my uh, my trusty saw here, I don't even remember what brand it is. I don't know if it says it or not. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus the three I already had in my bag. That's 12 for the day. That is a lot of damn forks. Now, I know full well that all of these may not work. So, you know, a little bit more than you need. 
he should be good to go. Holy moly, I'm so pumped about oh my beard again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, I'm so pumped about all those forks. I have 12 in total now. I may not be able to use them all, so getting more than I need is always better than getting too few, basically. But we're going to keep walking the woods here. It's starting to get a little bit later in the afternoon, so I'm not sure uh, if we're going to turn back or try to make a quick cut through the loop or whatever. But, uh, yeah, it's been a good day for forks so far. Um, <laughs> It's crazy December weather, man. It's almost it's almost January. And in Northwest Indiana, in January, it is usually never 50 degrees. So, I'm gonna enjoy this uh, warmth while we have it. Get on to the last of my Evo. Sorry, my hands are so dirty from cutting all that wood. The last of the Evo. Save the best for last. Evo Ergo. Oh man, I don't even know what to talk about with this with this frame. Everything that I like about the Evo, obviously with the exception of the material that it's made out of, I like better about the Ergo. It is, as the name states, much more ergonomic. Fits in your hand, as good as the Evo fit in my hand, this one fits even better. The curved parts, the contouring, and then the inlet where your fingers go, it's it's better. It's just better. It fits better, it holds better. It's made of polycarbonate, which is a, a virtually indestructible material. So you're never gonna have to worry about breaking this thing. Um, I would recommend bright colors if you do go with the, uh, with the Ghost, like I did. Bright color lanyard, bright color bands. That way if you happen to lose it, because I'm sure if you drop this thing in the woods, you're never gonna find it. Um, but I like this thing so much, it barely leaves my side. I, I usually either have it in my pocket or in my bag. Uh, just like the regular Evo, this thing's virtually indestructible. So four kits, yeah, they're gonna suck and you're gonna see it, but you're not gonna break this thing. You don't have to worry about uh, any kind of like rugged, you know, I'm an oaf. I'm like the least, uh, <laughs> I'm one of the least uh, graceful people you'll ever meet. And I, I don't worry about it, man. Um, not to mention the fact that even if you did get four kits or scratched it up or lost it, which obviously you want to try to avoid doing that, they're not expensive. They're like 30 bucks or something. <laughs> so you're not having this like, crazy uh, price tag on a frame that you uh, could potentially end up losing. So, yeah, I just I can't get enough of this thing and I, I don't want to sound like I'm rambling too much, but if you don't have an Evo Ergo in your collection you should go get one because they are that good. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm a little bit lost on trail right now, so I don't know exactly where we're at, but I'm not too worried. It's a big loop, so one way or another, we'll end up back where we started. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna do some uh, do some shooting with this thing for you guys. Oh, yep. We 
I can hit three in a row. Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> At the right there. He did a plant. <laughs> <laughs> so hit something. As long as you hit something. A little high, right? A little high, a little high. Yeah! Nice shot. See the deer? It's only about 10 yards from us right now. Oh, down here, she's trying to pick it back up. <laughs> we found this mushroom here. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Actually, I have no idea if these are edible. I don't. Uh, I don't eat them. Not wild. Give me a good old shiitake. Ooh, Mila, you all right? Again? <laughs> it is solid. I stabbed it. And no more of that. It is smoky stuff. Girls already ran up to the car. But uh, yeah, that's it for the day. Found a couple more forks. So that brings my total, so I found three more. So it brings my total for the day to 15, which is awesome. That's awesome. That's probably like double what I have at the house already. So excited about that.